No one is looking. Empty wooden room is her home now, shaped like a square and small, but big enough for her to fit and move around. When she first appeared here she was terrified, without her memories it felt like a never-ending nightmare. A rusty wooden door and one picture on the wall are the only things in this confined space. That damned picture even now she couldn't get used to it, a pair of green eyes watching her, an eerie sight that made her skin crawl. She wanted to get rid of them somehow but they were out of her reach. This damned door I have tried everything I can to open them but they won't budge at all. Mimi tried everything she could she used her whole body strength, pushed them, used fists to try and break them but to no avail, it felt like they were made of metal she only hurt her herself trying to force them open. Sigh, pointless Mimi decided to rest for now. Just as she was getting ready to strike again something unexpected happened, the doorknob started to move. Shocked by this Mimi didn't know how to react, alarm bells were ringing in her head telling her to stay put and not make any noise. She decided to wait quietly, it took her whole willpower not to scream. Doorknob started to twist and turn with more intensity and violence, whoever or whatever was there wanted to get in badly. No, no, no please don't let it open please I'm begging you she whispered in her mind hoping it would help her somehow. And strangely enough after a couple of seconds it all stopped, the doorknob was back to normal, there was nothing but dead silence. Several minutes passed after the incident, Mimi was still shaking from fear but she calmed down a bit. Can I open the door now? Am I safe? After gathering enough courage she finally decided to try and open them, slowly she placed her hand on the doorknob and gently turned it, a creak echoes at last they are opening. Mimi was trembling with fear while opening the door, couple of seconds pass which felt like decades and finally the door is opened and on the other side ls pure darkness. Darkness was the last thing she saw before she lost consciousness. Girl wakes up screaming and shouting p p p l e a s e s to p. Mother hearing the commotion rushes to the room to comfort her daughter, upon arriving she gently hugs her. Mom I, I had a really bad dream it felt like it lasted forever, alone, I was so alone. Shoo, calm down bunny, it was only a dream. Girl pulls away from mother's hug she wanted to see her face she dearly missed, but the first thing she noticed were your eyes. Mother your eyes? They, they are green, they look just like. Her mother bursts into a laugh haha silly girl where you on about they were always green just like yours.